The man who became a viral sensation during the 2016 Olympic Games for showing off his shirtless, oiled body during the opening ceremony is back. For the third straight Olympics, Pita Taftafua showed off his chiseled body while carrying Tonga's flag at the Tokyo Games opening ceremony on Friday. And his oily body definitely stole the spotlight and caused quite a stir on social media. But the athlete is far more than a viral sensation. Pita is set to compete in Taekwondo at the Summer Games. His first match is on Monday against a Russian Olympic athlete. He is one of six athletes in the Tongan delegation in Tokyo. And we're sure he's aiming to bring Tonga their second Olympic medal in history. Pita also competed in Taekwondo back in 2016 and qualified for the 2018 Winter Games in cross-country skiing. After the athlete first turned heads at the 2016 Rio Games for wearing a traditional Tongan outfit and leaving his torso bare, he opened up to Access Hollywood's Kit Hoover about his sudden rise to fame. What people see is, is uh, 30 seconds of shine. It was actually 20 years worth of work just to get to that point. But um, I was just so you know happy, blessed, just to you know be able to carry the flag and take our little country to the world. So yeah. But did you think the shine was going to be that big of a deal? Like when you it, were oiling up, you're getting ready to go out. Are you like, I'm going to do an extra coat, double down. I'm going to get extra shiny. There was a lady behind me, and she was um, one of our delegation, and she was uh, pouring it on because in in Tonga it's actually it's traditional to use coconut oil to you know to cover the body. You know whenever we uh, have the the traditional dance stuff. So. I think there was an extra layer on. It's the Olympics. It's Rio. Why not, huh? <laughs> so this is the traditional wear. Uh, I don't want to be forward, but what do we wear under this? You know, when, when we're kilts, they usually nothing. I don't know how this works. It's, it's a secret. Huh? Mm. We'll, we'll, uh, you never know what's under here, but at the moment, uh, we'll just keep it a little secret. Oh, God, I just got <laughs> uh, What happened after this? Viral sensation everywhere. Have you heard from any celebrities? Has anybody reached out to you? I, I just had Adrian, Adriana Lima come and ask for a selfie, so... Um, you not know, a bad gone, day. It's not a bad day. It's gone crazy. It's gone crazy. Uh, it's all over the world. It's viral. Um, but what, you know, what people are seeing now is, is a lot of hard work leading up to this, so I'm happy. What about at the back of the Olympic Village? Are you the room? Is everybody coming to Conga with the man from Tonga? They're coming to your room. They're ready to party. I've seen the box of goodies that arrives at the Olympic Village for everybody. The, Are we uh, hitting it hard in the village? There's a lot of crazy memes going around at the moment, but the, um, it's pretty hard to walk anywhere without people running up and doing selfies and that sort of thing. But, you know, any, anything I can do to get, get our little country out to the world, uh, I'm happy to do it. But Peter, are they coming for you in the village? Are the ladies beating but, down your door in the village? That's a hard question. I mean, <laughs> in Tonga, the answer has to be from a Tongan. You have to say no, no, no. And, but but yeah, in so, reality? But in reality, I haven't been able to even sit through the, uh, the amount of stuff. But um, You're being you know, humble. I, I'm trying to be humble, but... <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. What did your mom say about all this? She just, uh, she video called me and she just kept crying. So I'm, guess, I'm guessing she's pretty happy. 